Hello, I'm Lisa from PureFlow and I'm here to talk to you today about some great ideas to help babies sleep safely and sound. I'm going to talk you through some of our fantastic products that can really help create safer sleeping environments for your baby and hopefully help them sleep a little better too. So today I'm going to talk about temperature, I'm going to talk about where baby sleeps, I'm going to talk about how you can help baby sleep perhaps a little bit longer, we're going to talk about safe bedtime and then we're going to throw in some extra tips that hopefully makes things a little bit easier. So firstly we're going to talk about temperature. So it's important to create a comfortable temperature for baby to sleep in. So not too hot and not too cold. So we know the occurrence in SIDS, of SIDS in babies is higher when babies become too hot. So the recommended temperature range is between 16 and 20 degrees. It's not always easy to get that temperature, particularly in the middle of summer, but there are things that you can do to keep the room temperature cool and comfortable. So for example, if it's safe to do so, you can open a window, keep the doors open, keep ventilation, flushing in fresh, cool air um, to bring the overall temperature down. In the winter, it's tempting to use heating to get the room feeling warmer. 16 to 20 degrees can feel very, very cool for an adult, but we know it's the safe range. So don't be tempted to make the room too hot, particularly overnight. So when thinking about temperature, consider TOG. So at PureFlow, we have a fantastic range of baby swaddle to sleep bags, but also baby sleeping bags for slightly older babies. All of them use TOG to determine the appropriate use. So for a 2.5 TOG, you would use that most of the year round. In high summer or perhaps on holiday, you would use a half TOG. The important thing is to consider how to dress a baby with the TOG of sleeping bag. All of our products come with a safe sleep guide so they can tell you how to dress baby accordingly. Do remember that some manufacturers may give slightly different advice around what to dress a baby with. So it's really key to look out for that. A digital thermometer, such as the PureFlow thermometer, will tell you intuitively whether a room is too hot or too cold. It has a digital reading, but also it uses colour to denote the room temperature. It's a really easy, immediate way when you're checking on baby regularly to make sure that the room isn't getting too warm. And if the room is getting too warm, you can make adjustments. So where baby sleeps. The most recent advice around the safest place for baby to sleep is in their own cot in your room for the first six months. This enables you to check on baby regularly to make sure that they're sleeping safely. Their own cots can be a bedside crib or a Moses basket or even just an ordinary cot, but their own sleeping space is really important. Health guidelines do recommend not to co-sleep with your baby. If you want to create a more cozy environment for baby to sleep, then you can use a product such as the sleep type bed. This reduces the, sp the space inside the cot and helps baby feel secure and mimics the womb. Um, you simply place this inside the cot at the bottom of the foot, so in the feet to foot position. The swaddle is another great idea that mimics the womb, so it makes baby, baby feel secure by almost cuddling themselves. They're retained in a small space and they just tend to settle much easier and sleep for much longer. Baby sleeping bags are a great transition from swaddle to sleep bags and they basically mimic all the things from the swaddle but obviously with the baby's arms out. Ensuring your crib or cot is free of any loose bl blankets or teddy bears or anything in the cot that could be soft and form around the baby's face, we're looking at ways in which we can obviously reduce the risk of overheating but also suffocation. Health professionals advise that a baby should sleep on their back. It's the safest place for baby to sleep. So check baby regularly, keep popping in the room and making sure that they're in the correct position. So feet to foot, so it's the bottom portion of the, of the bed, sleeping on their back, no loose covers, making sure that they're safely in their baby sleeping bag and making sure that the room temperature is the optimum. So not too hot and not too cold. So we're often asked at PureFlow how we can help baby go off to sleep and stay asleep. So there's a number of things you can do, of course. Routine is key. So keeping things consistent. So how baby sleeps in terms of their swaddle or baby sleeping bag, making sure that they're in their sleep type bed if that's what they're used to. It's particularly important when, when you're traveling, which you may do in the first few months. Products that could create white noise are also fantastic. Babies being used to hearing things whilst they're in the womb and those noises are reassuring. So things that do heartbeats or low level lullabies, murmured sounds that can help baby drift off really, really quickly. Low light levels are also key. So if you can get a blackout blind or create a very, very low light within the room, then that's great. 
um, so a blackout blind that you can travel with is also really handy. There's lots of things you can do and we have a blog over at pureflow.com which we're constantly updating with the latest research but also from contributor editors who come along and give us some really great advice that we can share with you. For more information about our range, our latest collections, then head over to pureflow.com where you'll also find some of the latest in safe sleep tips.